Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about custom fonts. Last video was about how you can play with the already pre-installed fonts. Now we're going to talk about how you can include whatever font you would like. To do this, we're just going to use Google Fonts. There are other options, but Google Fonts is by far the most popular. Just make this big so we can see. Fonts.google.com and there are about a billion fonts here. Let's see, 977 fonts that you can pick from. All of these are free, and like I said, there are a ton more if you want to find them and pay for them, but Google Fonts makes it super easy to use them. So basically, all you have to do is search. So you can search for different categories and languages and properties. Um, so you can search for different things, or you can search by font name. The font I like is already displayed, but I'll do it anyway. Roboto. Roboto is a super common, super, um, they use it everywhere. So just about everybody has Roboto already installed, but if not, we're going to show you how to do it. In order to get this font and add it to your work, you find the font that you want, and you hit this little plus right there, and you'll get a little pop-up down here saying, okay, you've selected this family, and you can do this with more than one. So let's, let's say we've picked both of those. I'm going to get rid of the mono and just do the regular. And then over here, you want to click the Customize and pick what weights you want. You remember how we were talking about, well, there's the 100, there's 300, 400 is regular, all the way up to 900. So do you need to italicize things? And if so, what weight do you want them italicized in? So let's pick regular 400 and I don't know, um, 700. And then maybe a thin, I like the light 300. Now when I did that, did you notice this up here? Load time moderate, load time fast. If people don't already have these fonts loaded, your, their computer will have to download them from Google. And this adds to the time it takes for your page to load. So if you add a whole bunch of fonts, you're going to start to really make your, your website not load very fast. So keep that in mind. Um, generally, especially with Roboto, everybody already has it downloaded. Um, just about. So you can get away with most of these. So I'm just going to pick these three. And then I come back to the Embed tab. And all I have to do is make sure I'm on standard, not the add import, because we're not we're not dealing with this. So do standard, and all you gotta do is copy this link and come over to my tag, enter, paste. I just pasted the link here. It's important that you paste it before your CSS styles because it has to be loaded before your CSS can do anything with it. And when you want to specify it, it tells you right here how to specify it. Font family Roboto. So. If I come over and in my CSS, let's save this first, in my CSS where it says font family instead of Helvetica, I'm going to do Roboto. And then I might do sans serif. So if they don't have Roboto and, they don't, and they're not able to load it, if something happens with this link, like if this link is broken or Google Fonts goes down or something, it'll still load the sans serif instead of the default. So we're done with this. I want to go back to my fun with fonts. So this is saved. This is save and refresh the page. A few moments later. So I went ahead and deleted all of the styling on that P tag just to make it even more plain what we're doing. Inside my fonts, I've got this copied, and inside my styles, I'm going to use this embed code. Paste. And if let's say that somebody doesn't have Roboto, we might do um, sans serif. That way, in case they can't load it for some reason or another. It's, it'll still do the sans serif. So now I'm looking at this. If I refresh, now I have Roboto. It's a, it's a happy, fun font. So of the Robotos I downloaded, which ones did I get? I got 300, 400, and 700. So I could set that span, that bigger word font weight, to 700. Now that's a lot bigger. But if I pick 800, it default it stays at that 700 you'll notice it did not change at all because I didn't load 800 I only loaded 700 so it'll go to the nearest one if I do um, I want to say 300 was the one I picked now it's thinner if I go to 200 same type of thing I didn't load 200 so it stays the exact same if I were to come over here and load 200 and really it's it's easy you just come over here and add 200 to your import oops Refresh. It's a little bit thinner. Does it have a 200? It doesn't even have a 200. I was wondering why it didn't do it. So if I did 100, 
So come over here and instead of 200, add the 100, save, set it to 100, save, refresh, and now you can see it's even thinner. So that is how you um, load those. That's how you get the different fonts. And again, you can use a ton of these. There are as many of these as you want. You can add multiple ones to your thing. So if you liked this lacquer, you could add that. So in Roboto, I might only want the light. But in lacquer, it's only got regular 400. So maybe I'll leave 400 there. Oops. So inside my embed, I now have this link, copy, come over to Adam. Instead of this link, I'm going to delete that and put the new one, my P, and then for the bigger I might use that font family L-A-C-Q-U-E-R lacquer, and if they don't have that we'll do fantasy. And then the font weight is 400, because that's the only one available for that. So let's save it, look at it, boom. And now you can see that this has a different font on it. It's got that special little lacquer font. And that's how that's how to import fonts. That's how that works. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Google gives you pretty much everything you need. It gives you the embed code right there. It gives you how to put it into your CSS there. They even have a getting started guide if you get stuck. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.